U.S. stocks markets opened sharply lower this afternoon as investors grew fearful that the coronavirus outbreak, which has killed 81, will damage the global economy. The S&P 500 was down 1.3% shortly after the bell, while the Dow Jones was 1.2% lower and the tech-heavy Nasdaq had fallen 1.6%. Read more. FTSE 100 in panic mode over coronavirus fears push it into red The number of confirmed cases of coronavirus rose roughly 30% to 2,744 today. About half of them were in Hubei province, whose capital is Wuhan, where the outbreak began, and there have been no deaths outside China. Yet the Chinese government has cautioned that it expects the spread of the virus to accelerate, and has confirmed that it can spread in its incubation period making it harder to tackle. Stock markets fell across the world, Britain's FTSE 100 fell 2.2%, France's CAC 40 fell 2.6%, Germany's DAX sank 2.5%, and the Eurostox 600 fell 2.2%. Stocks with strong links to China were the most badly affected. On the Nasdaq index, which is loaded with tech firms, hard drive maker Western Digital, graphics firm Nvidia, and American Airlines were among the biggest fallers. The bottom is falling out of this market as traders attempt to gauge the potential impact that the deadly, aggressively spreading coronavirus could have, said Fiona Chincotto of online trading platform City Index. George Largarias, chief economist at Mazars, said investors were asking themselves whether coronavirus heralded the end of the decade-long business cycle. Yet he said if modern medicine and containment tactics succeed as they have done so many times in the past then investors may be best served by remembering that volatility may be a tactical opportunity for those waiting to buy at lower prices. Investors fled to safety as they sold off shares. Spot Gold rose 0.6% to $1,579.60 and the Japanese yen climbed 0.4% against the dollar. The yield, which moves inversely to the price, on the U.S. 10-year Treasury bond fell 8 basis points to 1.607%. Tommy Wu Senior Asia economist at consultancy Oxford Economics, cautioned that it is still too early to gauge the extent of the coronavirus outbreak. Read more, oil stocks fall as coronavirus hammers oil prices he said the outbreak could potentially be a high-impact but short-lived event, similar to the SARS virus experience in 2003. As such, we think that the current virus outbreak poses a downside risk to our China growth forecast particularly in the first quarter and possibly the second quarter should the outbreak be prolonged. But beyond that the impact should begin to fade. For more on this story, visit the news article link.